Hey everybody, it's me Wallman Beats here, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. And last episode, we landed here on Roseway, got to meet some of the people, and uh, killed a bunch of marauders on our way to this secret lab, which we're gonna go inside and check out. Antibiotics, secret lab 0027. A lot of strange noises coming from it. Sounds like there could be some some beasties in here. I can take a hint. Can you take a hint, huh? You could, you wouldn't even be here. Nobody likes you. Was that too rough? Yeah, it's not a good sign when your lab has iron bars. Oh. I thought there wouldn't Who be the anyone here. You. Yeah, you. Get over here. You care to explain what you're doing here? Did you miss the big sign outside? Uh, I think I did miss the sign. <laughs> I can't go five minutes in this place without someone nearly blowing my head off. I figure if a body makes a habit of walking towards gunfire, they got to expect a few bullets in their direction. Bad news is we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the lab. Good news is they haven't been able to escape neither. Could they get out through the vents? That's how they got in. We got that locked down. There's no access from their level without a security key card. That also means no fresh air down there. Probably reeks of wrapped it on musk. Couldn't happen to a nicer bunch. So it's a stalemate. For now. I reckon they got no backup. On the other hand, we don't neither. And our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason. Damn mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth. You locked down the vents the attackers entered through. Are you sure they'll hold? Pretty damn sure. The shafts are sealed with four centimeter hatches. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They'd need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. Ah. I'll be back. So where might your office be? That's barred. This is not. Oh, that's what he means about the robots that went haywire. I just picked up some key card. Oh, never mind. It was just bits. They can't keep us out. You know, I can just open it with the button, but this is pretty good for my XP. Oops. Easy. Got a book. Okay, now this. I could open it that way or I could hack it. 33, 43. I have more hack things, so. Enter command. Well, never mind. That's useless. What a waste.
I'll just lockpick it. Nice going. And this must be his office where I can make a new key card? Or... Do I feel like reading these? How long are they gonna be? Oh, okay, not too long. 06 is patrol route, past too close to the experimental subject pens. Now there's a rap spit gunking up the servos in its gun arm. We don't have a replacement arm, so I guess we disassemble this one for parts. At least 12 and 17 are still working. Someone tried to disable the mandatory consumer broadcast on 17. The thing got stuck in maximum volume mode until we factory reset it. 12 had serious ma malfunction today. Porter accidentally tripped one of the sensors inside the walls, so blasted unit thought everyone was an intruder and just started shooting. Shut it down for now, but we've requested new behavior modules from HQ for the rest of the units. No response on the behavior modules. For the time being, we'll have to hope nobody blows up a wall. The vermin. 205, way worse. But it's not bad. It's just way worse. Which makes it sound bad. How is this? I think my long ranger is no longer what it used to be. I might be better off with something else. Oh, did I assault rifle? That's what. Workbench. I haven't done any modding. Maybe it's about time. My pistol isn't on here. Maybe it's fully modded. What about my... I could do my... Sword? Eh. Magazine size. Shock damage. My armor. Utility. Plasma damage. I know I've got mods that aren't being... Oh, I have mods back at the sp my spaceship. Those are the ones I was thinking about. So what this is... Oh, this one's just fully modded. It can only have one mod and it's the, uh, the corrosion one. Okay. There's something back here I'm missing. I'm gonna do this just for the XP. Got it? 
inside voices. Any way I can sneak around? Seriously? Okay. I'm going to wait for it to come back here. Sure. I'll blast this when it gets close. System up. Beginning security patrol. stuff is it alive you got law tutorial during your adventures things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. Oh. Auto mechanicals now give you the willies, and when you're nearby, you're not as effective as you should be. One perk point minus dexterity, perception, and temperament. One perk point is not worth all that, no. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> uh. Unexpected noise. Incoming! Oh, motherfucker. I'll keep it down. Make him regret it. This didn't go how I want it either. Okay. Here I go. There you go. We got it. Look at that. Oh, I'm over encumbered again.
She got in my way, motherfucker. I can take a hint. Uh, if you want to clean it up, sure. I don't care. I'm over encumbered again. Oh my god. Uh, throw a couple of these. Throw one of those. One of these. One of those. Some armor. But this one has a lot of things on it. None of it looks that great. But actually, it looks better than mine. These don't look that great. Did I assault rifle? Is that what I'm using? Yeah, it is. Sedative gas canister. The label on the canister states Anticleo's Raptigon is guaranteed to render even the largest Raptodon unconscious for no less than six hours and has a refreshing antiseptic scent. Should a method for gas dispersal be found, the canister may prove very useful. Before we go down there, for one, let's open this up, see what's in here. Teach me that. No. Uh, I want to go in his office. I think you could give me that one proper, Captain. Doesn't look too tough. Which one? I could jimmy that one proper. Oh, this. Ooh, what you find? Don't know. Oh, I'm over encumbered again. Print security card. Oh, this is the one he was talking about. Where will it print? Did it, maybe it just gave it to me automatically. That's what I'm wearing already. 
Don't need two of them. Okay, that should hold me for a bit. Level up. Uh, more handgun. And... You keep that lock picking up. Five in stealth. Here. Yeah, imagine that thing was gonna lower my perception, my dexterity, and my temperament all by one when I'm around robots. That's not skills, that's my attributes. Any attribute reductions are real rough. So you don't have that many to start with. The safe has been forcibly opened, with its contents tossed about haphazardly. The remaining notes refer to various aborted projects. Anton's prized research is nowhere to be found. Scorch marks along the rim suggest the work of unsubtle thieves. Outlaws, most likely, made off with Anton's I'm work. I'm guess that all the nothing in that safe isn't what we were expected to find. Why am I over encumbered already? What did I pick up? What was that? Oh, now I, oh, I had a perk. Movement penalty to accuracy. I am always moving. That wouldn't be the worst. Consumable weight, that's not that great. Curing capacity bonus from companions. Dialogue skills. kind of like the idea of just dialogue skills these don't seem that great not gonna lie <laughs> what did i pick up that caught 15 weight 15 holy Why does it weigh 15? See, it has less armor than this. But 10 more weight. Get out of here. That's insane. Yeah, what can we do with this? Messages we'll read as emails. The latest batch is showing great promise, Anton. And though I hesitate to tempt the fates, I might even dare to say that it's a smashing success. Incidents of cavities have dropped significantly in the test subjects using the toothpaste, with only minor side effects. Nothing too serious, mind you, just a touch of blindness. So... If you could look into that, it would be much appreciated. Keep this up and you'll find yourself in Byzantium post-haste. Anti-Cleo. Oh, Geoff Trammell. That's who's talking. 
Upon further review of our results, we've uncovered something quite fascinating. While the toothpaste does reduce cavities, it does so only nominally more than the current version. Our results were skewed by the fact that our test subjects had a marked decrease in appetite, and hence were eating much less. That will teach us to monitor, monitor our subjects more closely, eh? Seriously, though, the appetite sus suppressant qualities of this new formulation are quite incredible. Though the taste and texture leave something to be desired, so we'd like for that to be your focus moving forward. No need to waste any more time on the blindness thing. We've got the boys in marketing working on a solution on our end. Seriously, Anton, you really must let the whole blindness thing go. Your dedication to solving it is admirable, but also a bit misguided, I dare say. It's really not that big of an issue in the grand scope of this whole thing, and pales in comparison to the texture and flavor issues, which we'd prefer for you to spend all your time on. You're also mistaken about our ultimate goals for the product. The appetite suppressant qualities make this something much more valuable in townships than even in Byzantium. The need for less food to satisfy our workers can add greatly to our bottom line. So marketing is focusing their efforts in that direction. I'm not certain, but that may have something to do with them rejecting your Apizap suggestion for the name. Hmm. Let's leave the marketing to the marketing department, shall we? Just go. Oh. Mind if I grab a few souvenirs? Go for it. I'm cool if you cool. Heavy machine gun. Is that just like the one we see all the time? Yeah, okay. Wasn't sure if it'd be something special. Am I? Oh my god. How much does it weigh? Okay, you're getting broken down. <laughs> Whose is this? Orson. Oh, we killed Orson, so it doesn't really matter what he sent, but just in case anything relates to the quest, I'll, you know, click through him. Pulse hammer. It's heavy. And I already have one. Whoa, 352? I mean, that's only half of mine, but dang, that's more than I thought it would do. All right, I think we've got some interesting stuff we're about to go into, but we're going to go into the next episode. We're going to leave it here. This is a big lab. It'll take two episodes to explore. So anyway, thank you for coming to watch this video. I'll see you in the next one.